Hi, good morning, and welcome to TD Cat Tutorials. Today, I want to talk about titles and uh, creating titles in Premiere. And uh, it's not so much the uh, kind of how to create a title, it's sort of what to put on that title and which font to use and things like that. One of the problems I see on a load of, across um, certain videos is that the video itself is like amazing quality and the output is extremely uh, high quality, but the title lets it down. And you see that a lot across many things, really. Uh, it just sort of bad choice of font on posters and things like that, where, where you've got kind of notices up in uh, in, in sort of businesses, and, and, and the choice of font is uh, questionable at best. And it just lets the whole thing down. So what I want to talk about today is creating a title for a bit of footage. So I'm only going to use this uh, this untitled move untitled.mov uh, footage here and uh, create a sequence for that, second sequence for that. And this is just a tutorial that I was looking at yesterday. So this is uh, creating an 8K sequence. I'm actually just going to fit this to the frame. And so this is just raw just raw, uh, just raw footage. It's got no title at the start of it. So let's sort of select a title and decide on what we're going to put. The first thing, obviously, you do is click on title and new title. And usually, I would use a still title. And the reason for that is because a rolling title or a crawling title, when it's encoded or when it's played on the bit rate that isn't suitable, just can look a bit weird. Uh, on your screen, it probably looks beautiful and smooth as it's rolling across, but it's quite a difficult thing to compress. And I find that when it comes out in, in the wash, so to speak, so when it comes out in your final production on, on YouTube or Vimeo or whatever, it doesn't actually look anywhere near as good. It's kind of like jerks along or uh, strange strange effects that it does. So I tend to go with a still title and a straight fade up and fade down of that title. Uh, main rule to stick to... Oh, wow, that's opened up massive. Hold on. Let me just close that within the window. Move this across. So there's our title window. Uh, the main rule to stick to with this sort of stuff is keep it simple. Don't sort of have any flashy fonts or anything like that. Keep it as simple as you can. And in most cases, for me anyway, and this is just my experience I'm talking th talking about here, for me, it'll mean either blurring the background because otherwise it can get a little bit too busy on the screen or completely fading the background down to black and putting the title over it on top. It does depend what sort of, uh, what sort of output you've got. If you're after something with a bit more action, you might just want to sort of put a bold, you know, quite a bold font over the top and uh, and that would look appropriate then. But if we're just talking about the opening of a, uh, of a of a tutorial video here, then we'll just talk about a very simple font and a very simple uh, frame. So as far as fonts go, I would always use a sans serif font or a sans serif or I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, so that, that if we look on uh, Creative Cloud here, we've got different types of fonts. And I'm going to, uh, hold on a second, let me just close this down. So I'm going to add some fonts here, and it'll just quickly go to a page that gives you the fonts that are available on Creative Cloud. And I would always go for sans serif because, well, what it means is without the line, really. That is what, some, if you look it up on Wikipedia, that's what that means. And what it's saying is fonts that don't have these little flicks at the end so, you know, you, if you look on a poster that's Times New Roman, it just looks a bit dated. It's a bit out of fashion at the moment, uh, uh, serif fonts. So if you take out the lines, so sans meaning without, and uh, sans serif <coughs> means without the lines, they're a lot simpler to look at. So you look at this font here, Acumen Pro. To me, that looks like a nice, nice, clean, visible font compared to this one. I don't know, no idea what this is, Latania. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's a it's a nice font and very suitable for maybe a book or something like that. But as far as a title goes, it just looks a bit. It would have to really suit the the program, you know, the um, uh, the the output, and it would only be used in a very specific circumstance. So, in most cases, stick to sans serif fonts. And a typical example of that is one that I use on a lot of my output, which is Lato. You think you can download that. Uh, for free, that's L A T O, so it's either Lato or Lato. And uh, just for information, here's the uh, Wikipedia page about sans serif. So 
Sans comes from French, and serif actually comes from Dutch. Never would have guessed that. So without the line, basically, here. Interesting stuff. So let's put a font in, and the default one it puts in, so we'll just put uh, uh, 8K, 8K video in Premiere. And the reason I've oh, put in Premiere Pro, and the reason I've used uppercase text here is a lot of the time in titles, uppercase looks good, and uh, it's only you know in in sort of body text. Obviously, you'd use um, you'd use large large uh, case. Ooh, bit of a siren there outside, and in in titles, a lot of the time it's it's good to use um, uh, uppercase. So if we just, sure, we haven't actually got much room on here, have we? Move these over. And just keep it nicely centered, like this. And you know, that, that looks okay as it is, but let's change the font of this. Click on the uh, selection tool there and change it over to uh, Lato. And another thing that's very much in fashion at the moment is light fonts. And my belief on this is, since websites have been able to support the loading of fonts as you visit the website, so custom fonts for a, for a brand uh, that, are, that can be loaded as the page downloads, which wasn't possible previously, so it started with sort of QFON stuff and is now just sort of pulled up from sort of Google APIs and Google fonts and, and what have you uh, to, to actually uh, render a font live in a web page. All of a sudden, sort of really nice, fine fonts have been able uh, to be reproduced. And also with the reintroduction of high resolution, high DPI displays like Retina, obviously, from Apple being the main first one, it, these look absolutely great on those type of displays. There's no doubt that they look better than the big, chunky, sort of standard fonts that you that you you get i think there's about eight in total that are supported uh you know like Arial and times new roman and or Arial helvetica um you know all the standard stuff so let's center that again and we'll we won't have it as hairline because it's probably a little bit too thin like that but we'll certainly have it as light and we can make it just a touch smaller and the reason i'm going to make it smaller is because another thing i find is really kind of used a lot and very very fashionable at the moment is to increase the uh, tracking so as we expand the tracking we get a completely different look to that to that font and if you were, were to have multiple lines i would do something like this so if i let me let me just okay video in premiere pro uh part one exporting, I don't know, something like that. What I would do here is highlight that and put a bit of extra uh, leading between the lines like this. So there's plenty of room. And you have to go with what looks good as you're doing it. And then I would select this and make this a little bit smaller. So, and then center the whole thing. Maybe it's a touch to bit too much space between those those characters but overall that looks pretty good and maybe a bit less um, so something something like that would I think would look really good and just to show how uh, kerning and tracking can make a standard font even look good if I change this to Arial which is actually pretty boring, though it is a better, a better one of the fonts. I change this to Arial Regular and reduce that to, I'll reduce that to zero. So there we go. There's standard Arial. Um, it just, I don't know. I look at that and I just think, Neh. It's not very, not very nice at all. It does the job, but it looks like a PowerPoint presentation in a in a company in a, in a you know in a meeting or something like that. So, a simple increase of uh, kerning. I should should say kerning rather than tracking. Actually, it's more, to be more accurate. I think 
makes that look like a completely acceptable title. We could probably make it a bit smaller too. Uh, do they, I'm not sure if it'll lower these relative to each other. No, it just does them both the same. Okay, well, get the idea. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think that now becomes Ariel used with uh, with some some uh, more space between the characters looks perfectly acceptable. Looks good. Looks very current. And uh, if we actually close down the title page and put it on something that doesn't have something above it, something underneath it, we get the, something that looks like that. And a simple, you know, this this might seem like common sense to some people, uh, but but you do see some real sort of obscure titles. So do do consider how much difference uh, an appropriate font and appropriate use of that font makes. So all you need to do with a title is just fade it up and fade it down. Nothing more than that. Doesn't have to whiz out, doesn't have to whiz in. Um, then that, you know, you can use those sort of effects, but there's just no need for it. It's just over, you know, overkill. It's nice when you first get a bit of software and you want to have a play around with stuff. But most of the time, a simple fade out and fade and fade in is, is all you need. So in this, we just do a fade in here. And then we just, it's probably a bit long actually. I didn't realize it was quite this long. 10 seconds is a bit long for a title. But, you know, that is as much as you need with a title. And uh, so so in, in general, Consider using consider using kerning. Sorry, I called it tracking, but I mean it does it performs a similar function when you're just using it like that. Uh, consider using kerning. Make sure you've got enough line spacing uh, if you're going to use multiple lines. If you do use multiple lines, consider changing the size of the font on different lines. Don't use uh, multiple types of fonts. That'll just look weird. It, um, it, it, you know, if you go if you go overboard and start using different fonts for different things, it just looks strange. Keep it simple and try and use a sans serif font, sans serif font, because they do tend to be a little a little bit more in fashion at the moment. That that might change in ten years. Don't know, but uh, right now, it's a safe bet. So hopefully, it's given you a couple of ideas on uh, how to create just a nice, simple looking title in Premiere. And if you've got any other ideas or comments, please get back to me. And if you like what we do here, then uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.